Welcome to the channel, it's Jay today. Talk about the science, metaphysics, and the psychology of semen retention. In this video, I'm talking about the rainbow pill. So the rainbow pill is something that I have alluded to in previous videos, but not directly. And I made a video about, maybe about a few months ago, where I talked about men sacrificing their sexual energy to channel it into their success. And this is kind of along those themes. And this is more about how that sexual energy, when it's channeled the right way. If I made another video about the spare sexual energy as well, spare sexual energy being the one that counts. And bring this all together, what I'm trying to touch on is the fact that the energy that you transmute into the right metrics for your success and happiness actually makes you bump into high quality women on a streak, which is something that I experience when I feel good about myself. Yeah, the basic premise of this is if you feel horny, you have to first check your metrics and understand whether you're leaking sexual energy or not. If you're leaking sexual energy, you need to plug up that leak. And when you plug up that leak, then you're gonna get a more realistic understanding of what your sexual energy is and what it actually feels like. So that when it reaches that point when you're full, like a battery, and you transmute it into your life to be successful, then you're actually gonna get the high quality women kind of manifesting into your life. So basically what this means is the higher your rainbow score, the less horny you're gonna be. So let me touch on these seven metrics of the rainbow pill. So Roy G. Bib, that's those are the, the colors of the rainbow. And these metrics are not in um, not in alphabetical order. So there's no like R, O, Y, there's no metric like that. But I just did that to give me a visual kind of understanding of what these seven metrics mean to me. So the first one is your sleep. So to gauge your metrics, overall, when you want to gauge the seven metrics, you want to understand that you want to give yourself a score Two, being the worst in your life, the worst experience in your life. Five, being average, but you can bear it for a few months. And eight, being the best in your life. So let's start off with sleep. Sleep. For me, I give myself a two when, in fact, is if my sleep is very poor, like uni. So if I was having um, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. binges of just, yeah, going to bed every day at 3 or 4 a.m., for me, that's a score of two. A score of five for me is half of my sleep in a week is later than 11 p.m. and half of it is before 11 p.m. That's average score. And number eight, which is the best in my life, is when I've had one and a half months of sleeping consistently before 10.30 p.m. every day. So that's sleep. And obviously, if your sleep is good, you're gonna have better control of your urges you're going to have better self-control you're going to you're going to have like some space some time before you actually enact on your impulses you're going to have that better self-control you're going to be able to like master yourself in that sense and the second one is mobility mobility and fitness so for me a score of two is for me when i was in when i was living in birmingham i was really heavy and i couldn't run and i couldn't do any calisthenics that's for me a score of two the score of five is like in lockdown when I was able to do a lot of fitness stuff, a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of body movements, but I couldn't really run, didn't have the fitness to run. And a score of eight is a mixture between 2020 lockdown fitness and my ability to kind of have good body endurance like I did like when I was in 20, 2014 um, because I was really light. So I was able to run really fast, able to do stuff. I was able to do 50 tricep dips in one go. That's a lot for me. So that's an eight. And obviously for mobility, the reason why I say this is important is because the fitter you are, the healthier you are, the more vib the, the higher vibration is gonna be. And so you're gonna be more aligned with those high quality women in general. Why? Yellow. Strength. Strength for me, a score of two, is when I was injured in 2018 and I couldn't even do, I couldn't even bench press the bar. A score of five average is about 2019 when I could, I could do two plates and a bench press. 
I could do some squat, like maybe 150 on the squat. Maybe, actually, I would say maybe 140 on the squat. His average wasn't great. And then number eight, the best ever would be like when I was like benching 120 for reps, multiple sets. Um, this is in kilograms, 120 kilograms, 180 squat, four plate squat. When I was doing 200 kilogram deadlift, this is just when I was in my best shape physically in terms of strength. Um, I think strength is probably one of the, the top metrics out of the seven metrics for these high quality uh, women in terms of attraction on the street. They just they seem to just gel with you in general. Now we're on to green, G, discipline of habits. Discipline of habits is just your flow in life. If you have a chart where you track your daily habits and you find that you're going through like a period of months or a period of weeks where you're not doing it, you're not following your habits, then I'll say that's like a poor score. So you can give yourself a score of two, which is what happened to me when I was in like 2011, which is the worst year of my life in terms of these kind of things. I was full of fear and I had no discipline. Number five is average, uh, 2022, when I had great discipline, um, I was able to, yeah, just follow, I kind of followed my schedule, but I wasn't doing much of it. I was doing maybe doing two minutes of an activity a day. So I wasn't really doing it fully, if that makes sense. And a score of eight would say, would be like May, 2021, when I was waking up really early in the morning and I had consecutive days and, and weeks where I was just banging, banging on that schedule and following the discipline. And discipline is important because it gives you a sense of peace and inner, inner well-being that you're going somewhere, your trajectory is going somewhere. And that can really be powerful against, against those impulses that make you feel like you're worthless. And so you just end up aligning with a high self-esteem and that high self-esteem manifests these kind of high quality women in you you attract what you are b is for streak potency um now this is something that you can't really co control yourself um you can control your length i guess by not um releasing too much uh often but your streak potency i believe is is more controlled by walking outside in nature um eating bone broth um regularly at least and having green salads also faux tea and maca, maca powder good herbs as well to enhance your streak so for me, I, I give myself a score of two if it's like in school. When I was in school, I literally, going two weeks without uh, PMO would be an impossibility. Maybe one week would be the equivalent of going like, I don't know, a few months now in my 30, early 30s. And then 2020 would be about average because I was discovering new places. I was in that vibration of discovering new places, uh, discovering new music. And I just felt like I was on an adventure. And the number eight, the highest score would be 2018, where, where life was literally another level of magic. I was just discovering new ideas, new things. I, that's when I understood, that's, that's the first year I understood manifestation. The first year I understood um, the power of my thoughts and the power of my actions in terms of, sorry, the power of my words. And just the power of just imagination. So if I was to break these barriers, as I've been talking about, um, score of eight, then there'll be, that'll become a new eight. B for tidiness. So tidiness is very important. I've talked about decluttering. Now decluttering actually creates space in your life. And when you create space in your life, you actually allow more new things to come into your life. So for me, a score of two is like when I was living in uni um, in a messy house, I was living in this house, some housemates, and it was just very messy. like. Imagine walking on a carpet, and as you walk on a carpet, this is barefoot. You just feel dead, um, not dead, but dry crisps just crunching underneath your feet. And it's just cans everywhere, discarded cans. It's just discarded, like it's just stuff everywhere. It's just disgusting. That's for me, um, a score of two. The score of five would be like um, having a house that's generally clean when it, when it is cleaned, but there are some bits which can be made better. So you may have a lot of dust accumulating somewhere which you haven't touched in months and stuff. A score of eight is like what I experienced when I had, so I have cleaners. Um, in my old flat, I had cleaners come regularly. I'm gonna get, get them set up here. But um, when they were coming every two weeks and I was getting rid of old papers and old stuff, and I really felt this sense of freedom inside me. So yeah. And then number, so V, 
that's the last one that's for adventure and hobbies so this is for this is really about your sense of exploration and this one is more about giving you a feeling of not being a slave and not having your life being a routine and this gives you that that inner feeling of you're not trapped somewhere and that can also raise your vibration to the level where you attract these high quality women so for me a score of two a poor score was like 2012 when i was still newly and um, just visiting a park just walking to a park was something like adventurous to me going to a park would be something adventurous and i was just mostly an indoor kind of guy number five would be like 2015 when i was doing a lot of stuff outdoors discovering outdoors for the first time but i was still a bit of a kind of a bm pimo addict um on dating sites and stuff and number eight would be like in this year um I, i've been traveling a lot this year i've been to i think about i think five different places or countries and stuff and i've just done a lot of adventures a lot of hobbies i've been exploring a lot more so that's something for me that's given me a sense of i'm doing i'm doing something and i'm not trapped so when you put all these together these this rainbow pill it gives you a completeness in your life a kind of sense of okay i feel whole and you just don't need anything else really in terms of you know the the typical guy like trying to get the fancy clothes a fancy car whatever to attract women you just it's just an inner vibration of metaphysical wealth in that sense and that just aligns you with that kind of those kind of high quality women in my experience so that's it and i don't know if you if you've experienced this kind of feeling of yeah wholeness when you do these kind of things and have this kind of discipline in your life and i don't know if any of you have used any of these roy Jibiv metrics this rainbow pill but if you do or if you have i'll be interested to know peace